I was meeting my end. Then something happened. I met someone. I liked her initially and soon fell in love with her. I married her without any need and made her my life. I engrossed so much into her that I started feeling really positive. And the love, the bond has been so strong that I love forward from Darwin. I thank her for the best gift ever, our first daughter. She will always be close to my heart. Second is special too, for she has set up a new inspiration. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The galaxy of intellectuals, invited guests, readers, dreamers, and of course, lovers. How different is this evening? Dear viewers, you will discover as the colors of life unfold, something so deep and so pure. Love and peace. Hi. First of all, before we actually start with the meeting, I really feel sorry. Hi. Hi, Swati. Hope you are doing good. Good evening. So before we actually start with the meeting, I would like to apologize for the delay. It's been, it's been here about nine to ten minutes and we are late. But anyhow, now I hope it will be good. So before we actually start with the meeting, I would like to read something from the book. Look, today we are here to talk about love and peace. It is meant that love and peace cannot coexist together. A few years ago, one of my readers asked me that, so do you really think that love and peace can coexist together? I didn't reply to her then, but then I wrote a book. And in that book, I am trying to justify if what I feel is correct or not. So the most important, my favorite line of the book, so this is how we start. I'll read a few lines from the book, and then we can start with the question answer game. This is how the book looks, if you have not purchased it or not seen. So this is basically a note from the author in the book. This is life. People come and go once their purpose is solved. But then there are a few those reside in our hearts beyond eternity. When life is harsh and all seems falling apart, they come for rescue like angels. They hold our hand, support us, inspire us, and make life heaven. For me, you have done that. I had my reasons and issues in settling down, so a few years ago, I left home to travel the world, explore the undiscovered, and bend down my hill. Then, somewhere in the middle of the journey, it happened. We met. You radiated the supreme positivity, and I was just mesmerized by the simplicity in you. And once I met you, I felt like putting an end to the journey, but I felt it was complete, that you are my destination. Then once I knew you, we came closer. I made up my mind that a new journey has to begin. You know, my fair and wife, when I looked into your eyes, I could see the purpose of my life. You, for, if asked, you are the one I regard the most. You are the one who has given a reason and the one who makes me happy. I feel complete when you are close. So dear public, had I declared to be honored with the honor that we met, and I feel proud to express that I love you. Truly, madly, deeply, with all my heart. So now, hello, and thank you everyone for listening to this. Hello, Gaurav. Hello, Anurag. Hello, Shiva. <laughs> so, and again, Swati. So now I'm ready for questions. If you people have any questions, please. I'm waiting for them. Meanwhile, you know, I also have questions for you, but it will be a process. First of all, you ask and then I'll ask you all about love and peace. So do we have a team there? Oh yeah. Hi Shobhit, it's been a long time. Yeah, I don't know man. And I'm serious, sorry that I wasn't in touch, but how are you? And Akshita, I am glad too that you are here. And once again. And thank you, Gyan Darbar. I hope you people feel it, right? Gyan Darbar is the team that is organizing this thing. 
my interaction will be zero. Otherwise, I don't do this thing. Okay. So Swati, God, and now Akshita show that. Do you know why I wrote this book? Okay, let me tell you. Look, a feeling beyond words. My first book was an autobiography, as many of you would deny. I had written that book to express my feelings to someone, and uh, after that book, I really didn't write for a very long time. The reason was that I didn't find a reason to write, but. Then you know something happened, and I felt that I have to write again, and that is how the mentions came. As I told you before, that it is actually a question whether you know we can live with love, with love, with peace, or whether love and peace can live together. Or not. This is a very big question in today's. Generation in the today's time, people are struggling in love. They are not happy. What is the reason? Where the peace has disappeared? It's a big question for each other. Love and peace. Can of course coexist together. Okay, Abhishek wants to ask how many copies of Love and Peace have you sold today? Um, Abhishek, um, when it comes to debates, I don't know if I if I actually know the you know exact digit how many number of copies have you sold. But yeah, I can assure you that first impression is almost sold out. I am pretty sure about it. Exact numbers I really don't know, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. So I was telling you something about love and peace, whether they can coexist together or not. It is a question that comes to our mind most of the time that what is love? Now different people have different perceptions when it comes to love. But how many of you realize that you are in love, you are in infatuation, or something else? You know, we at times see someone, we feel something positive for that person, and then we say we love that person. Probably what happens is we go to that person, we express our feelings, and then she or he agrees. But my question is. Are we in love? I don't think so. We are into a relation, but we are not into love. Because love is something very divine, very powerful, very powerful, and very different. We don't just get into it in a second. Yeah, I do know that people say that you know love happens in a second, in love. but I have different perception over it. Really different. Hi, Adam. How are you? So, whenever you see someone, you like someone, you feel positive about, about someone, please keep this thing in mind that you like that person, you don't actually love that person, and then when you get into the relationship. If problem occurs, then and then you say that peace is destroyed, even though I am in love. So I am sorry to tell you that you are not in love. You are in a relationship. There is difference between a relationship and love. And love is feeling. Love is not relationship. There is difference between relationship and love. Okay, last book I read. Last book I read was Five. 
but how I know I didn't know not he's my favorite author so in fact I ended up writing it a few days ago it's a good book I would say and these days I'm reading um, short stories 50 best short stories so far and in all genres And surely thank you, I will keep on writing man, and I will keep on spreading the love, and also peace, not only love, as you write. Surely, Akshita, I would love to. Like, as I told you that love is a feeling. Okay, so friends, Akshita has asked that could you please explain the difference between love and relationship look as i told you that relationship is not a feeling love is a feeling what is the relationship if i have a friend that friendship is a relationship i have father that bonding that relationship this is a relationship my father between my father and me between my mother and me it is a relationship so these are the terms, you know, they are relationship. But what is love? Love is something different. A brother cannot be the love. Sister cannot be love. Father cannot be love. We can love our father, we can love our sister, we can love our mother, we can love our brother, we love. But then the difference lies, lies in feeling. We actually get into relationship without understanding the concept of love. In love, what happens is, you know, the biggest difference that I personally feel is, if I talk about myself, if I love someone, I would give away my everything for that person. Everything means everything, leave life alone. But if you are into a relationship with someone, be it your sister, brother, cousin, friends, mother, father, lover, can you give your everything for that person? If you can, then you are in love. Otherwise, it is just a relationship. Just a relationship. So, this is my perception of love. So, Abhishek has asked, tell us about the most encouraging reviews you have received so far. There are many. Um, especially like Akshita is still here, so she has written very good reviews and uh, I have read reviews on, you know, Amazon. I was really very much touched and uh, really confident about this thing that even the top most reviewers on Amazon, top 500, top 50, top 100, top 10 reviewers, they are reading my book, this book, 11 B, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 4, not less than that. So reviews are actually really very good. And when reviews are good, you know, like earlier you were asking that what is the exact number of copies that it has been sold. So digits, they increase in time. That comes the time when digits is big. But reviews are fantastic. People are comparing me with, you know, big names, but when it comes to comparison, I really don't like it because every person is different. He or she has his, his or her own way of writing, own way of expressing. I have different as everyone has. But in short, reviews are exceptional. If you will go to Amazon and read the reviews, and if you have not purchased the book, I bet you will buy it and do that. So Akhita, do you get the difference between love and relationship as I said? Can you really give up your everything for the person you say you love? Because this is my definition of love. I would give up my everything. And it is not only about material things, but each and every day, my home, what is in you, my new things. When you are in love, nothing else matters. All that matters is the person that you love. 
we are so passionate about when we are okay so have i started writing my next project yes i have in fact one anthology of short stories lined up and the after, after that when more of our project i am working on that now and the short stories as i said it is lined up for this forward it is a publisher so it will be out and announcement will be out and uh, coming back to novel so yes i have started writing it it is a very good concept a very different and it is a biography actually if you want to know about it and i suggest if you want to know about my next project you better read love and peace first because you can find the link there in both the books if you read love and love and peace then the next book you will find it better to understand it will be easy for you and you will understand things in a deeper manner when you come to love because you know what happens in is this is called essentially we people don't even really understand love we misguide love with the word lust and especially youth of our nation but i don't know whether the youth of our nation think this way or otherwise in other you know parts of world or uh, as it but people have started taking love as lust this younger generation they don't understand what true love is as i said before it is a divine feeling it is something so pure something that basically uplifts you you become confident when you are in love all you are so passionate when you are in love you know you are not afraid to do anything when you are in love nothing else matters and you always want to strive for good things for better things for best things you are never content with small things you want big bigger biggest this is how it goes in love and akshita says i got the things and you are very much right actually we have to put our effort okay thank you akshita akshita agam ask which actor will play the role of ranji if a movie gets made on love and peace okay agam uh, thank you for asking the question but don't you think if someone makes a movie on the book it will spoil you know the originality because if you read the book if you read the book you can create the character according to you but it comes to feelings basically because we like you know feelings we like about character we like what is character says but we don't like much about when it comes to looks so when it comes to look you yourself make a picture in your mind probably you yourself see yourself as the hero so you know when it comes to actor anyone can play a lead role in any film this is what i think it is just the kind of movie that you make that lies the difference whether it is comedy whether it is romantic it is thriller that differs uh, otherwise i really don't have any character in my mind because i have not thought in that way to be really frank that if someone makes movie on my book then what character but uh, let me tell you if you have read the book you will know that you know earlier now that i have changed uh, earlier what i was thinking is that i would name all the characters of my book thank you if you feel the same way as well but uh, so i was telling that earlier what i was doing is with love and peace is that i had named all my characters with actor and actress names but then i changed them especially the main characters otherwise still if you read the book you will find that half of the characters in the book are actors or actresses in art from our bollywood so i actually started with that when thinking okay which character would play which role but uh, then you know when this thing came to my mind that then 
when a reader reads, reads the book, the perception he or she is having about the character that it can change. So that is how I stopped doing that thing. I changed the name of my book and reviews. Oh, hi, Smriti. How are you? Long time. So that is why I have changed the name of the characters in the book. And so common names, you know, like yours and mine. Harish, Madhav, Raju. So Anura wants to ask, what took you six years to come up with second book? Anura, you know, I don't know how many people understand this difference, but I don't call myself an author. I call myself a writer. What difference I feel is that a writer writes with his heart. And author at times doesn't. Because, you know, when you become an author, it becomes your profession. But when you write, when you are a writer, you write because it is your passion. So there is a difference between passion and profession. So I call myself myself writer because I wrote first book to tell someone what I feel about love. If you will read Love and Peace, the dedication itself reads that I had written that book for someone to tell her what I feel about love or what I feel about her. So I had something accumulated deep in my heart. And that is what I wanted to express to someone. So I have written my first book. After that, things really didn't go well. And uh, I didn't find a reason to write. This is the fact. But when, after a few years, I thought, okay, now I have to write a book. I found a reason, a different reason this time. So I wrote this book, Love and Peace. And this reason, this reason, this book, this dedication, this love and peace is written for that same person for whom I had written my first book. But with different blessing, with different hope, with a different mentality, with different perception. This time, I also want to give this message to people that, as I told you before, love is dying or it has died last century. It died. People are not in love, but they are in lust. So we should be that way. And uh, now Gunjin is asking, do you think love and peace both are running parallel? They are not running parallel. Reason being, as I told you, love is dead, according to me. Look, now I am repeating the things again and again, but to answer your question, I need to tell, tell this thing that, you know, we get into relationship without understanding that whether we are in love or not. And what happens is, we get into relationship, problems are there, and then we say we are in love, but we are not in peace. So you people need to understand the fact that you are not in love, you are in relationship. You don't feel that way. You cannot give up your everything, your ego, your arrogance, your self-respect, and priorities, career, practicality, I don't know. I fail to understand what comes in, you know, between. But then there are issues that you people start finding, or we people start finding. And then we say that they are not running back. Obviously, they won't run back like this. If you are naming lust to be love, how can this lust and peace be parallel? Never. If you are calling an affection for someone or an infatuation for someone love, how can this run in parallel? They would never. But if you actually get in love with someone, try to understand that person and not for the physical beauty, not for the physical beauty you are loving that person. You have something for that person, you know, something you have in your heart. Then you just see, they do go in parallel, always, not just once. And now Abhishek asks, is there any difference in your life after writing your book? The only difference I find is that 
I am chased by the man. When it comes to love, I can connect it spiritually. You know, I understand the meaning of spiritual love now. Earlier, I had read books, I had, you know, listened to people saying that it is love, that is spiritual, or that is, that is divine love, but I did not understand it. Now I do understand it. After seeing what people are doing in this current century, what they actually do on the name of love, and then what love is according to me. So that is different, right? So now that I've written two books, I have written two stories, I have had two mindsets, and different mindsets. When I was writing Human Beyond World, I had different mindsets about love. When I wrote Love and Peace, I had different mindset from on love. And so this is the basic difference that I have found. That I can connect myself with spiritual love. I do understand that love is something very different, something very positive. It is not, you know, it doesn't happen that on Facebook today you are into a relationship and then tomorrow you are not into a relationship. What kind of love is it? I don't call it love. In fact, I would say that you people are losing the meaning, the true essence, and the priority, the divinity of that word. One more thing, never become, never try to become a homie in love. If you love someone, don't try to become a homie. Try to become Shah Rukh no? What did Romeo get? Romeo died, Juliet died, and then their parents were also unhappy, right? Did anyone get out of that? No, because Shah Rukh He took it as an inspiration. He followed Kadir path. He became something. He started with his wife with him. He was in love with God. If you people know the fact. So don't become real Romeo. Become Shalok, something like that. You, know? you must be having your own um, you know, role models in front of you. Shalok is just an example that randomly came to my mind in this you. So the other question is when did you start writing? I was in class 10 when I started writing. Actually, I was very naughty, very different when I was in school. So one day my friend told me that, you know, when you grow up, then you are going to laugh at you, thinking what type of person I was. So I said that, you know, it will be a long time and I will really forget the kind of person I was back then. And then I came up with the idea that why don't I write somewhere? So whenever something good or bad used to happen with me, I would write it somewhere. And beat my computer, beat that somewhere. I would just write it. But it was not frequent. In two to three months' time, I would write just one or two notes. But that is actually the time when I started writing, if you call it. But when it comes to thinking about, okay, I want to write a book, it came only after I, you know, took admission in the public. When I read my first book, then I thought, okay, this is also a human being. He has written a book, and why can't I do it? And then I had reason, you know, I had reason to express my feelings. This was the way I come up. Then according to you, what is the role of an author in society? Now, what is the role of an author in the society? The role, according to me, of an author in the society is to earn money, become rich. Get name, get fame. This is what I thought. But if you talk about writer, then yeah, he feels something for the society. Because as I told you before, what he writes, he writes with his heart. He writes what he feels. He writes what he sees, what is happening. And when he when he sees that something wrong is happening in society or in any part of the world, he comes up with the idea. He never comes up when he wants to earn money. He comes up when he wants to, you know, bring out change somewhere or express his opinion so that someone sees to basically inspire people to do good things in society. So, 
a writer has a very important role because you know if i am a person i have something in my mind and i talk to 10 people in one day to what extent i can actually be a change in society not too much i think but when i write something hundreds thousands and lakhs of people are going to read it so there is the responsibility that when you write something always write something you know that if someone is reading it he also feel some inspiration so that he also does something be it small be it big that doesn't matter but that person should feel after reading what you have written that okay i also want to do something for this life this is what i have done and as the motto goes love gives inspiration do something that inspires someone give someone that hope that love that care that support that society humanity they actually write they don't come back this is what i said then will you always write comments i really don't know this question i was asked um six years ago i remember at the launch of our first book of reading and words and my answer was yes i will always write about comments <laughs> but you know after writing love and peace i feel that there are so many journals you can write out and obviously this thing is for sure that love will always be there in all the stories in all the books in all the journals that i write but uh, when it comes to you know journal i don't know whether it will be only romance or something else can be on that so let's see but yeah romance is something i really love just because of the word love so probably yes romance romance will be there this is all i can say in all the books so abhishek asks me which character was the most difficult to create in love and peace and why the most difficult character if you read the book is sanjay the reason be because it's been 9 years he is in pain and then he want to help someone he is a very different kind of person who himself doesn't know what he wants to achieve in life he is living a very different life you know he has few regrets in life and just because of that he is ruining his life for the past 9 years he is in someone's thoughts he is thinking over her again and again and like this is how his, his life is but when he realizes that okay now is the time i have to help someone from the same way like because i have ruined up my life and i don't want the other person you know it is really very difficult when you need support when you are in pain then if you give hand to someone in need when you support someone who is in need it becomes very difficult for you but if you are able to do it it is a great achievement i must say the biggest because that is really very difficult so it was quite difficult and it was quite exciting then next question comes how you react to the increasing error terror in the world now terror now terror you know when this word terror comes to my mind there are different reasons or different you know way or different causes for it what kind of terror is it is it coming from a terrorist is it coming from society is it from is it coming from your own family your friends your enemies or the someone you love you might get betrayed someday <laughs> because you know you are not actually in love with it so what kind of terror it is all kind of okay look terror is something you really cannot fight with it 
this is what i feel because it hits you unawares you don't know anything and to what extent you will tell me to what extent you are going to save yourself from okay i agree that many people will say that we should have precautions but for what there are hundred kind of cattle in this world today more than hundred i would say but do you have hundred ways okay all all in human activities included look when in human activity that to all include you only tell me all in human activity all itself tells that each and every person each and every element each and every terror they have come up you know they have come up that terror has not come alone it has brought destruction with it and when all the energy in the universe of the world has combined together to destroy something is it really possible to fight that i don't know i fail to understand it is very difficult because i am also a human being so when this word terror comes to my mind i will get afraid of it you know i say that i am not afraid of anything be it terrorist be it death be it god be it devil be it tiger be it snake if there is something i am afraid of then there is love it is love that i am afraid of and the kind of love that has been transformed now into that is actually terror for i think where comes terror from if i love everyone why do other people need to you know get afraid of me love is lacking actually love actually has that and it is not only the romantic love i'm talking about but really at times i feel that you know even parents are being selfish they say we love you but i'm really sorry i fail to understand but do they actually really do they i don't think so this world is full of people who are selfish who don't have heart in them and when you don't have heart you can't love and just because you don't have heart you can't love such things come you know we become terrorist anyways it's a never ending discussion love is a good feeling only when you get it back or when it is unequivocal your thing abhishek look buddy love is a very good thing it is very pure it is divine you know when you are in love when you when you are actually in love you go to a very different level this thing doesn't matter this thing really doesn't matter whether that person loves us back or not because if we are talking about love it is not only about the romantic love it is about every kind of love if i love my mother my father my sister my brother you know there are times if my mother says something good to me and that i don't like it or you know if some problem occurs in it i get back at her with some wrong words just because she loves me she will not respond in at least in negative manner so this is just a very small example when it comes to unrequited love i agree that heart always always wants you know that if we love someone that person should love us back 
this is your want, this is your thing, this is your dream, this is your imagine, this is your expect. This happens with us, I do agree. But then it is really difficult to you know get out of the feeling when you are in love. Being a human being, it is natural that if it is unrequited, if the person on the other side doesn't respect your feeling, if he or she doesn't, you know, love you back, feel the same for you, it hurts. But if you just uplift your level of it, if you change your perception on love, if you just don't think about the flesh, more than that, you will find a purpose in love. I have found a purpose in love. This is something my personal opinion. Do I do agree if it has it has it has unrequited? People, you know, they get hurt. That is quite fine. This happens. Coming to the next question, the difference between love and peace and a feeling in our words. Love and peace was my journey in autobiography. I had written for someone to tell her what I feel about love and what I feel about her. That was just an attempt to tell someone something about love. And uh, I had just taken out of my heart and kept it on paper. I had not read it to the world. It was my heart that is people have read. But when we talk about love, all along with it, we are not saying that, but all along with it, the experience of six years is there. With one more thing, as the title goes, love and peace. I genuinely want people, because you know, these days we don't find someone who actually loves us. So I wish that people understand the true meaning of love. They come up, they change their perception, they come up with that, you know, that. Um, lust and they come out of it and they understand the real meaning of love what love is so that is what uh, you know love and peace is to make people understand that there is a feeling love if you are actually in love if you believe in your divine feeling then you are in peace if you do not understand the real love and then you say that we are in love, you wouldn't be in peace ever, no matter what you do. Never. The peace will get destroyed by its own. This is all I have to say. Then, <clears throat> okay, Adam, shortly. There are many topics to be talked about, right? <laughs> in person. So, Anurag says, You speak so much of love, are you in love? Oh, I've been in love all my life, but uh, if, like, are you asking about this romantic love? Because, you know, as I told you, love has been the inspiration. I never knew literature. I never had any friendship with literature. It was love only that inspired me to write, as you people know by now. It was love only that inspired me to write. So yes, I am in love. I have always been in love. I have believed a lot in it. And this is the most powerful thing, the most powerful feeling, the pure of the power I am doing. So yes, I am in love. Now that is a different thing that the person with whom I am in love. <laughs> Anyways, so what about you? Mom? How funny are you in your personal life? I was funny actually. I am not that way as I was before, but yes, I am funny with kids. I am funny with kids. Those small tiny thoughts when I see them, when I, you know, really my past with them, then I am happy. I feel, you know, happiness. 
otherwise i am bit of a serious person in life and humor is a good thing you should be happy this is what i feel because it is you know best to have you all know that and it keeps you going if you have humor in life if you are happy it keeps you going doesn't matter how difficult the situation is even if it is a difficult phase of your life or even if it is the most difficult phase of your life or the most difficult day but if even for a second someone adds humor in your life humor to that time you know it if you are going down like that and then humor comes for example then you again lift up a bit then again you come down then humor comes up to again so what happens is you are not dying actually you are not coming up sorry you are not coming down it is saving you from dying this is what humor does it is really very important to have then next question your best day in life so far my best day is yet to come <laughs> so i don't know but yeah this is all about say short answer to this question the shortest answer i will say it is yet to come and the day it will come surely i will announce because i can't keep things to myself i do for beside it if it happens then what will be the name of your hero okay so as i told that i am still waiting for the most happiest day or the best day of my life and then if someone is to write a biography of me then all i would say is a pilgrim to paradise i'll tell you reason also you know i hope you people know me in your pilgrim you people know me in your paradise so i consider love above and god love is the purest feeling according to me and it is you know the most divine in all form in all energies so i am a pilgrim and the day my journey gets you know fulfilled as i feel that i am in heaven that will be the true heaven for me when that way even though as i said that i do understand all the you know manifestations of love but still a pilgrim to paradise because love is nothing less than paradise then next question is you have covered many social issues so uh, what do you have to say about it in present scenario in our society okay on this i'll tell you one thing last year i was at jaipur literature festival and uh, i asked anita nadi that because this is what i felt this is what i had seen and this is i still believe to an extent if i tell you that india has always been a male dominant society but now it is changing from a male dominant society to a female dominant society do you agree to it or not then she said that okay women are coming ahead but then we won't say that india is still a female dominant society i still go by that female it is a female dominant society but there are few parts in our country there are few rituals there are few customs there are few things that basically are restricting the progress of the nation i fail to understand that there are people you know there one left is in this 21st century and other left is in some 19th or 18th century and one more thing i'll tell you you know people talk about values principles and just because of this thing 
social issues are there just because of this values and principles but if you ask me people actually use these two words you know to prove their point to get what they want from society as i told you before everyone is essentially selfish most of the people exceptions are there otherwise almost everyone uses word is selfish you know so they if they make any decision they have made it for their benefit if they come up with any idea they come up with that idea just so that it is beneficial in some or the other way for them this is my take and then the other asks hi bro hi long time man how are you so agam asks me do you believe in god i fail to understand the meaning of this word if someone is watching here please i don't want to hurt your emotions but then i really fail to understand the meaning of this word what is that is this energy is this some power or does god actually really exist in life i don't get that all i would like to say right now is that i don't go well with god so let's freeze the topic of god hand and we're coming to the next question the success of rajas to mind you do you think it is possible to practice that yes it is possible actually it is possible um if you have read the book like obviously you have read the book that's why you are asking the question um you know 3 years ago i was in chandigarh and uh, for some time a week or 15 days i was in one company dot that actually was working on this principle that i have read and i was quite surprised to see that can such a thing happen so i had seen people like if you see you know characters in my book raju's team head or raju's manager raju's boss or managing director they had taken few years to become successful but that when i was there for a week time then i thought yeah okay is this the way like they are telling that if you do this if you do this if you do this this is the way you grow in the company so this thought came to me that uh, you know or a trick you can say that one can get promotion quickly if this method is to be followed and everywhere it works now if you don't become selfish and instead of competing with your friends with your colleagues you try to help them in every sector be it school be it it field be it you know or what i would say if you are helping your friends if you are helping your colleagues both of you are going to progress you will progress simultaneously but if you keep pulling each other's leg you will not get successful level he or she will get get successful level this is my take this is what i think so this is the way i have read that he takes help of other people he helps other people and this is how just in a very small time that is in 2 years he become managing director of a company just by helping them then behind few there is three words in love we inspire how much do you agree with this word this is motto of my life my vision you can say you ask me if i am in love or not right or is there is someone who i love you know this is what i have learned after writing two books this is the meaning of love that has you know that i have understood this is the transformation i have gone through once i understood the meaning of love i 
changed my perception of this transformation came and then today this is my vision and this is my vision love with an empire if you love someone you know live the entire world because love is everywhere in every person that i see love it is feeling it is energy so this is what i feel we should love everyone that comes our way we should give as much as we can and we should inspire otherwise an animal is about to live in you know dogness catless donkey may you will decide you donkey cat dog camel or human being there is difference humans love and just because when we love someone they get intimate with someone they don't just have lust for someone it is not like an animal that you see someone you have a different kind of a lust for someone and then you just go this is the difference between an animal and a human being we feel love we can give an animal cannot give a plant cannot give. at least when it comes to inspiration at least one person in your life one day of your life you should be for humanity this is what i believe in if you are able to change one person's life if you are able to give one life for one day in your life completely to humanity to inspire someone for someone's good then you are doing otherwise you are not So Shida says, "We love someone because maybe they deserve our love." But there is one line in the book that do love has anything to do with the, the story of our two young sisters? Actually, that is my Shida. You know, I actually believe in it. As I said before, love really doesn't have anything to do with anyone. I personally take love as to be if I am not saying you be like that, but you know if I am a person with big ego, if someone says something wrong to me, even a bit, I wouldn't talk to that person after that. I would never. But if I love someone, and even if she slaps me in front of ten people, I wouldn't say anything. But probably I will talk to her afterwards. But I wouldn't do the same. I wouldn't scream at her. I wouldn't get back the wrong words. Now people will say she doesn't deserve you because you are giving so much of love. You have so pure feelings for her, and then you know she is being so bad in public to you. The deserve word doesn't come in love. Love comes alone. That's it. This is I feel, and that is why I have not been wrong. That you know, deserve. People are practical. They think this way. You know, we should deserve someone. I don't. So now the next question is. By the way, I am also not good with this word called heart. So we are friends. We are brothers then. You know, because. There are reasons, you know. Love is something. If you love someone, you don't have reasons. Because the good thing you shouldn't have reasons. Do you really think you should have reasons to help someone? A needy? I don't think so. Do you really think you should have a reason to party, to be, to smile, to be happy? I don't think so. But you do have reasons for negative and wrong things, right? You do have reasons if you want to kill someone. You don't need to have reason to love someone, but you need to have reason to kill someone. You need to have reason to do something negative, to harm someone, to abuse someone. For negative things you have reason. For positive things you never have reason. And personally speaking, I don't find a reason saying hi or hello to God. 
I'm out of it. Anyways, if you are in love with someone and he she with someone else, then how can you have peace? Um, in the very beginning lesson, we need to change our perception when it comes to love. Look, where there lies true love, peace comes automatically. This is what I feel. I know. But when you love someone, they are happy with their life. You know, there comes the time when you understand, when you get it, you find peace in that smile. But then when it's a different thing, it's a different scenario and a different case if that person is again not happy. If for example, I love someone, she is not happy and she is with someone else, then okay, I agree that my peace is going to get disturbed. But if I love someone, she loves someone else and she is happy with her life, with her with the person she is with, then I feel that at a point in time, I will be in peace. Then you know what happens is, as I told, uh, the thinking, the perception, it gets uplifted. We feel a very, we think in a very different manner. We feel a very different feeling, a very different emotion. But we do get peace sooner or later. We feel satisfied. I have been satisfied. I was satisfied when the one I love, she was not with me but someone else. Yeah, I do agree I was not happy. Never. I was not happy even for a second. I had tears in my eyes many a time, but I was satisfied. There is a difference between peace, sadness, happiness, satisfaction. So I was satisfied. You can say I was in peace or bad, but yes, I was not happy that's a different thing. But I was in peace. And everyone can be in peace. You know, at one point of time, you find purpose. Like as I told you, love we've been inspired. This is my purpose now. This is what love has done to me. Ujjwal hai Ujjwal. Ujjwal asks what love is like. Love is like beauty. And then love and is the most ugliest thing you would say. It is creator. And then again, for few people it will destroy. It depends. Love is the best thing, it is the worst thing. It will take you to heights, it will pull you down. This is what people say. Right? But then, it is your perception how you take love. Love is something very different, something that doesn't have a definition, that doesn't have a meaning that only and only has feeling. A very different kind of feeling that you really can't express anyhow. Leave alone words. The title of my first book is A Feeling Beyond Words. But if you ask me, love can really never be expressed in any form. If there was a way to express love, or if someone knows, please do tell. You know, there are many emotions inside us, many emotions inside us, not just one. But we fail to express ourselves. We say we love you so much, but then do that person, does that person really understand how much you love that person? No. Does that mean that you are lying or that uh, your love doesn't exist? No, you do love that person, it's fine. If that person fails to understand how much you love him or her, it doesn't mean that you don't love her or you don't love him. It cannot be expressed. 
though it can be felt you can see it in your partner's eyes when she looks at you when you look at her but you can not express it anymore anyways the next question is what would need to be an organ you need to have heart more than pen more than hands to write you need to have heart if you have a heart if you write then obviously okay coffee or tea coffee i drink a lot of coffee especially when i'm writing and you didn't have the other option right you are some bit coffee and tea do you chew on your hand no never i had that in fact and this is something you know when i was at school children do it many of my classmates used to do it but i don't do it i never chew it that and now i cannot do it because i respect my job and it is not only a pen now i am an author or a writer now i don't what's the last music album you bought Oh, it's been a long time. I don't even remember. I think it was Insomnia by Andy. It was when I was in college. Because when I was in college, I used to, you know, uh, listen to him a lot. Nothing after that. What's your favorite color? Red. I write romance. I believe in love. Love is everything, and that signifies love. And then that difference is that favorite pizza topping. Oh, no idea. Sorry. <laughs> is love equivalent to love? Never. Never. You know, lust is nothing. Just for a while, you will have something in your body, and then it's over. It's done. But love, it never ends. It never dies. It's the energy that is in, in the environment always. Favorite word. Now, trust me, the word that came to my mind. I cannot tell you, sir. It's a four-letter word. Starts with L. Ends with U. Anyways, Abhishek, uh, you look like a rock rock star more than a rock star. Um. Okay. When I was in school, I used to sing. I used to play guitar. But I never thought that I'll be a rock star. Anyways, are you a morning person or a night owl? Night owl. I love waking up at night, having long walks alone, thinking. You know, when I walk, then I think a lot. Favorite movie? Quills. Quills is my favorite movie. And I just like and loved the passion, you know, that the person has for writing, even if he is dying and still he is writing. More than life, he loves writing. So quiz is my favorite one. So any more questions or we'd like to wind up? Cricket or football? Obviously football. I play a lot of football. You know, I don't play actually now. I used to play a lot of football earlier, and I love the game more than cricket. Okay, so you know, uh, 
uh, when I wrote Love and Peace, after that, I don't want to play much on the same subject. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to read that poem for you, because that is not printed, you know, in the book. But before that, I would like to answer two questions, Messi or Ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> um, and just because earlier my favorite team was Menu, because Ronaldo was there, and now Real Madrid. Favorite actor, female, male. Oh, favorite actor, female. I don't have any. Favorite actor, male. You will laugh, but it's uh, Raspal Yadav because he is co actor, you know. Then Abhishek, if you are on the way and suddenly something click you, or your how you manage to note it down. This is how I manage. I always keep a diary and pen, no matter where I go. I always carry it with me. If something comes to my mind, I just write it down. And you know, there are times when people look at me because I sit and I start writing anything that comes to my mind. And the people look at me, what, 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 what is he doing? But that doesn't matter. I am an author, that's a big, very big one. So, favorite actor, actresses, that's all. Actors, actresses, I don't have any. Beer or wine? Wine. Actually, I'm fine with both, but if it is an option, then I go for wine. But if I am sitting with someone who doesn't take wine, then I go with beer. Even if you know we are sitting in a group, and even if there is one person who doesn't take wine, or uh, any kind of alcohol and beer, then I go for beer. Otherwise, if you ask me, I am sitting alone with you know, someone who takes it, everything, then it's wine. Listening or speaking? Listening. I love listening to people. I love listening to what they have to heart. Because, you know, if you ask me what my experience is for that we don't have many people who actually listen to us, listen to our feelings and care genuinely for what we think and what we say. Everyone is busy with their own life. So I like listening to people, understanding them. And if I can do something, then of course. And speaking, I am not really that good at speaking. So that's why it is better listening to me that I just sit and listen. So Andrew says, thank you for taking our time to do this. Oh Andrew, my pleasure. Thank you. But uh, before I wind up this thing, I believe I have something to read. As I told you before, the poem. Okay. Poem about love and peace. May that and this poem is dedication to all dedicated to all of you, all the people who are listening, and even if you are not listening, because it has at least two meanings in life. This is what actually. May there always be love in the universe of your heart. May the love spread, may its passion be felt by all. If you feel the pain, may you explore the gain. Our pain shall set the inspiration. Help you serve the quest, make you a man of honor. May there always be peace in the universe of your soul, in the haters and the frustrated. May it so assist. May peace assist you always, make you richer. May your life smile at you, you do to others. May peace sharp the blessing. May there always be love. May there always be peace. May you taste the fruit. In which is honesty and happiness. May not that pleasure make you weak, but give you hands to grow. May you may not that pleasure make you weak, but give you hands to grow. So, in short, the poem says that if you have love in life, if you have peace in life, you know, if you are successful, don't be egoistic. 
don't be arrogant. Give. It means if you are, if you have something you are successful, then you are happy to be happy here. So give. And uh, thank you, Abhishek. Thank you, Anja. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, everyone for being here. And uh, and uh, Einstein said it so well that time is an illusion. But I believe the most in time and love. So I thank you all for giving me your time. We learn and we teach. I am sure you have learned something. And I tell you that I have learned a lot. With humble attitude, I would like to thank everyone, all of you. And especially the and especially and especially the Jan Darbar team for organizing for organizing this event because you know this is the first time I'm going to our life. You know, I never did something like this before, and it was great experience being with you, with all the questions that you people asked. And uh, I can tell you this thing that now, just from your questions, I can from today. After that, I have, you know, tried to answer you people. I can think. In a different manner, with a different perception, when it comes to love or anything or even peace. So whatever new people are talking today, I'm really thankful for that. Happy New Year, Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and thank you all. Stay happy, stay blessed, love and peace to you all in your life. Thank you, Gyan Dabawa, for being here. Love you.